help this housewife. And like any housewife, I want to serve my community. And with July 4th coming up, I've decided to help support the troops. I support the troops! I support the troops! Hey, 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 hi, oh, how hi. are you doing? Oh, good. Listen, uh, there's lots of things you can do to support the troops out here. Uh, every day we have people out here doing good things for our service members. Um, I'd like to show you those things if you'd like, and anybody in the community can do it. Let's go look at them. Okay, great. Okay. Honestly, service members will actually try to route their leave to go through here. I mean, everybody knows about, you know, the Welcome Home Hero Program they have here in Dallas, as well as how, how well the USO provides, um, you know, free food, free water, calling cards, and all that stuff. So we're here to assist them in their transition, uh, whether it's, you know, they're, they're on their way back to Iraq, as these gentlemen are, or um, young kids that are just, you know, going into the service. Um, uh, most of our donations uh, support the food and the other comfort items. We get a lot of stuff donated, but the big bulk of our food costs are for a center. And uh, last year we saw 150000 and we're spending around 18000 plus a month just for the food that we serve in there. We try very hard to you know, make sure that the servicemen have uh, nice food that they can have at no cost. Nothing, there's no charge for anything for them. They can, uh, when they walk in our center and we explain everything to them, we basically tell them if they have any money, it's no good to them there. We have a, the soldiers like uh, things that they always ask for, we have on the cart, and one of the most popular things is the beef jerky, okay. which is a good thing, to, and then they like chocolate. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. And then um, a couple of us make pillows. Oh, nice. I made these last night, and then they can rest on the long flight back home. Oh, yeah. Um, this room that we have is right across from the gate where soldiers are going back to Iraq every day. So on a daily basis, we have 20, 25 soldiers that will come in every day, seven days a week, read to their children. We will film them in our filming room. They got a book for their child, um, found themselves reading, and then we'll send the book and the DVD home oh, um, so that every day they can have a bedtime story from their mom or dad. Oh, so it's awesome. And our volunteers run our program and uh, man the cameras and find the books and uh, help with the mailing, and it's an awesome opportunity for people to be involved. The community that comes out and supports the USO uh, is, is volunteering as well as giving up um, water, soda pop, candy, whatever, and their time makes us stand alone as far as uh, volunteering, uh, volunteerism that comes out and supports our service members and women each and every day. We've just had a plane arrive from Kuwait with soldiers from Afghanistan and Iraq and we're just going to say thank you for serving our country and, and get them to where they need to go. about how you can get involved in these programs, visit neighborsgo.com slash helplesshousewife. And while you're there, if you have any ideas about how a helpless housewife like me can make a difference, post them. Thanks for watching and happy 4th of July.